Researchers are focusing on a number of already existing drugs that may have some promise. T.J. Holmes here with the details. Good morning, T.J. Hey there, George. And what we're talking about when we say promising, if a man has coronavirus, he's given a particular drug and he gets better. That means the drug can now be seen as promising. But promising is not proof for the medical community. You need time, you need trials, you need evidence. We're not there yet, but there are some families out there that will tell you they have all the evidence they need. The race is on to find ways to treat COVID-19, and a big part of that effort involves looking at drugs already in use to fight other diseases. Many Americans have read studies and heard media reports about this drug chloroquine, which is an anti-malarial drug. It's already approved, as the president said, for the treatment of malaria as well as an arthritis condition. At Thursday's White House briefing, the FDA commissioner revealed clinical trials are beginning to see if the drug can be used on a wider scale. So far in laboratory studies, chloroquine has shown promise for the prevention and treatment of SARS, a close cousin to COVID-19. Chloroquine seems to have helped Greg Mundus, whose son says he was on the brink of death Monday night, then was treated with the drug and has now done a 180. It's certainly hard to tell if the, if the uh, hydroxychloroquine really was the turnaround drug, but I will tell you that the timeline certainly would point towards it because 24 hours after he was on it, he really he really turned the corner. Scientists are also now looking at convalescent plasma. That's a potential therapy using plasma from coronavirus survivors. There's also remdesivir, a non-FDA approved drug previously tested to fight Ebola that's already being credited with helping save lives. T2 Pamachan, a father of three, is on a ventilator after he was diagnosed with coronavirus Sunday. His wife says he's showing improvements after participating in a clinical trial using remdesivir. I do think, in my heart of hearts, I do think when he started the remdesivir, whether it was a coincidence or not, that's when he stopped getting worse. Researchers are also scrambling to find a vaccine. ABC getting access to the Army's labs at Fort Detrick, Maryland, known as the world leader in researching dangerous diseases. This exclusive footage shows where technicians are growing coronavirus in order to figure out what will prevent it. Yeah, this is the front lines of the battle against the coronavirus. And I, I, I would suggest that you know some of the people here are going to be the heroes that are going to help us defeat it. And look, scientists all over the world are scrambling to find treatments and a vaccine. But right now, the truth of the matter is there is nothing that is proven effective to treat coronavirus. And as far as chloroquine goes, doctors are saying do not run out there and ask your doctor to prescribe you this stuff. For one, you probably don't need it. And also, George, you could take up some of the supply that maybe somebody does need. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day anytime we thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA